Hey folks, Todd at Freedom Fighter Tactical. Today we are going to talk about one of the first things that most Benelli M4 aficionados and people who like to build Benelli M4s for other people, one of the first things they do when they take the Benelli out of the box and get started on tricking it out. Let's get started right now. Yeah, so it's 2022 as I do this video, and it was about 2018, 2019, maybe, God, maybe a little bit earlier even, that Benelli changed what they were doing in regards to the Benelli M4 build. There used to be aluminum trigger housings. The part number is 70003, and all Benelli M4s came with an aluminum trigger housing for years and years and years, and people were fine with that. Aluminum is a great material for a trigger housing, and it's probably the best material for a trigger housing on a consumer shotgun. I mean, you know, you could maybe do some, you know, argue that there's some better materials out there for a trigger housing, but aluminum is customary. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great uh, unless you're really building something absolutely insanely fabulous and unique. You would probably not use a different material than solid aluminum to um, you know, carve out your uh, aluminum housing. That's what most companies do. Um, but uh, you know, it was probably 2018-ish, maybe 2017, maybe 2019. I can't remember the timeline right away. And it was kind of cloudy because there were a lot of aluminum housing M4s on the market when the polymer started showing up. So uh, I don't really know exactly when there was kind of like a line between no more aluminums coming out and we're, you know, we've moved on to polymer. But Whatever the case, you know, probably nine times out of 100, if you're buying a new Benelli shotgun, it's got a polymer housing in it. There may still be some aluminum housing uh, M4s out there uh, in the marketplace that were never bought. That's probably not the case, but, you know, there's always exceptions to the rule. But uh, more often than not, if you've bought a Benelli M4 over the last several years, you've got a, a polymer housing. Right off the top of my head, I can't remember what the part number is on that polymer housing. It doesn't really matter because most enthusiasts out there, most Benelli guys who are really into these guns and, um, and like to trick them out and are very knowledgeable, consider a polymer to be a trash material for uh, a, an aluminum housing. Now, you know, I, I, polymer's probably okay. I'm not so uh, hard on it as uh, a lot of the enthusiasts out there might be. I mean, polymer is great. It has its places on the gun you know the forend is made out of a polymer the stock is made out of a polymer there's a lot of things in a lot of guns that are made out of polymer but it's just not ideal there's a lot going on with the trigger housing and when you're doing anything with plastics it doesn't matter what it is uh in there's inconsistencies in plastics plastics are very difficult to work with uh, a lot of the times you get results that you weren't you know wanting in plastics plastics are extremely expensive in dealing with molds and dyes and tools and things. It's it's just extremely uh, difficult to work with. I know because I've got a number of parts that we've done in plastics and um, just simply the M4 um, forend is, uh, I mean, it's, it's tough. It's got a lot of features on it that contribute to uh, getting varying results and it's very difficult to control that. So with the polymer housing, there, there's no doubt that, um, you know, it, it's just not as ideal. That's kind of how I look at it. It's not as ideal as aluminum. Now, again, a lot of the Benelli guys out there in the marketplace are much more vocally negative about polymer uh, for a trigger housing. So take it for what it's worth. But again, one of the things that people like to do when they get this gun out of the box uh, with aficionados is, is they want to change out that polymer trigger housing to an aluminum trigger housing. And you've got a couple of choices. You can go with the Benelli OEM. And there's a lot of people out there who want to keep their gun as close to OEM as possible on the entire build. I get that. And uh, the 7000, sometimes I throw an extra zero in there, 70003. It's when I try to say it too fast. I, I think I give too many zeros. But anyway, um, the 03 is the um, Benelli OEM aluminum trigger housing in black. And uh, we try to keep those in stock at Freedom Fighter Tactical at all times. We also do it in an MP3 version for guys who want MP3. You can do MP3 on your black shotgun just to do something a little different, or you can do MP3 on your Cerakoted titanium uh, shotgun color um, 
if if that's what you want. And that's kind of why we did them in MP3 was for the titanium Cerakote guys. But um, you can get rid of that polymer and slip one of those in there. Uh, it you know if you're not talented with doing that kind of work yourself, you might hire a gunsmith. But I do encourage people to try to learn on this gun. It's a very simple gun to uh, to work on. Um, it, there are some tricky moments in the trigger housing, and there's some tricky moments in various parts of this gun if you're doing it yourself. But generally speaking, this is a great gun. I have another video where I talk about this is a great gun to learn on. It's a great first shotgun. It's even a great first gun in general because it's very difficult to hurt or screw this gun up. It's very easy to problem solve if you've gone down the wrong path somehow and you have to backtrack and fix something. But the 7003 is the um, is the OEM housing. Uh, they're pricey. What I think is the better choice if you have a Benelli M4 and you're going to change out the polymer housing is to go with the ANS trigger housing from ANS Shotguns. Um, it's I think it's $100 cheaper roughly at the time I do this video and it's enhanced. Um, it's got a few features that they've worked on and I don't, you know, I probably should have prepared better for the video. I just turned on the camera and kind of rolled with it, but, uh, you can look at the description on the ANS trigger housing page and discover what enhancements ANS has made to make this a nicer, uh, housing than the OEM. And it, it's a, it's a freaking work of art. I sell tons of them here at Freedom Fighter Tactical. I think they're $215 or something like that. It's a no brainer. And it's a 922 R part where the, OEM housing is not a 922R part. So if you're looking at doing 922R compliance and you either need a part to achieve 922R compliance or you would like to have an extra part to kind of do a belt and suspenders approach on 922R compliance, the ANS trigger housing is a great way to go. Uh, I try to keep them in stock. We were sold out of them some during uh, 2020 and 2021. Uh, here in 2022, I've really beefed up my inventory of them and kind of order a lot sooner than I would normal. So if you see it on the website and you can put it in your cart, that means it's in stock. But yeah, the getting rid of that polymer housing, you know, you don't, I, you know, I, I, I don't really, you know, I don't like to fire off sirens and alarm bells over things like that. Um, you know, I think you could probably, if you've got a polymer trigger housing in your gun and your gun works flawlessly, you're probably going to be problem free for life. And, you know, there might not be a reason to switch it out unless you just want to achieve perfection in your gun and make your gun as good as it can be. And, um, you know, kind of go along, you know, if you've got the mindset that a lot of the enthusiasts have, a lot of the enthusiasts are restless with their gun. They're not going to be satisfied until everything on the gun is absolutely perfect. And one of the first things they do is get rid of that polymer housing. If they're buying a newer gun, they're getting rid of that polymer housing. They're they're putting in either the ANS or the O3, um, and I would say most of them are putting in the ANS these days because it's just it's just a work freaking work of art. Um, it's just a beautiful piece. Uh, ANS focuses on that, and um, you know what can I say? I mean, you know they're trying to perfect perfection too, just like we do here at Freedom Fighter Tactical, and that's why I carry their part at the store. But anyway, wanted to share with you my thoughts on the polymer housing. I'm pretty level-headed about it. Again, I, I don't think it's any emergency if you've got one in your gun, but if, if you're trying to really make your gun the best it can be, it's a great trade-out. Thank you to all the people out there in the military, law enforcement, fire, and medical who serve our country every day. We love you here at Freedom Fighter Tactical, the men and women out there doing it, and their families who sacrifice by having them out in the field in potentially dangerous situations, not knowing each day how their loved one uh, or the person they care about is coming home in one piece, safe and sound, ready to enjoy the evening with the family, or hurt, or sick, or having been taunted, or whatever. Again, the families of the people in uniform, the people serving, uh, I love you guys just as much. Uh, thank you so much for your sacrifices. Folks, I will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a supporter, a supporter of Freedom Fighter Tactical. Take care, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon.